So now let's turn our attention to the moon. Many of us have seen the moon appear full at various times throughout the day, as in this picture. But how can that happen? If you're standing at point C, then it's the middle of the night. Full moon, no problem. And if you're standing at point A, it's early in the morning. Certainly, if you stare back at the moon in the night sky, then yes, you can see a full moon. But if you're standing at point B, which is midday, that is, the sun is directly overhead, then there isn't anywhere that the moon can be that will allow you to see it as full. Because the sun will be illuminating the side of the moon that is facing away from you. So the best you'll be able to see is a sliver of the moon. Think about it next time you see the full moon during the day. Every month, the moon goes through eight distinct phases. Always the same eight, always the same order. Supposedly because of a relationship between the position of the moon relative to the position of the Earth and the Sun. So, let's say it's December, and throughout the month we see the normal eight phases of the moon. But what happens when it's June, and the Earth is uh, supposedly on the other side of the Sun? Shouldn't the phases be reversed? That's not what we see. We see the same eight phases in the same order. We are told that the moon is also spherical. But when we look at the moon, it seems to be lit uniformly over its entire surface. But if it was a sphere reflecting the sun, then that curved surface would display a highlight. And then that light would drop off as it went round the surface. But that's not what we see the entire moon is lit uniformly. The quality of the light from the moon is completely different from the sun's light. The sun's light is hot and it's shifted towards the yellow part of the spectrum. Whereas the light from the moon is cold and more silvery. Heat is essentially infrared light. So in order for the moon to absorb the heat from the sun and not reflect it, it would have to be a deep green colour to absorb the infrared. So unless the moon is made out of green cheese, it is not reflecting the sun's light. It appears that the moon is not a sphere and it's not reflecting the sun. It is self-luminous. Also, we should be able to see a slightly different view of the moon depending on where on the globe Earth we happen to be. But this is not what we see. It doesn't matter where we are on Earth, we always seem to see the same view of the moon. Now, my friend Nolan pointed out that this is obviously a very exaggerated picture. The moon is supposedly 30 Earth diameters away from the Earth itself. But even so... That difference in position should give you a slight difference from point A to point B. But again, that's not what we see. So apparently the moon is 238,000 miles away. But if you just put that aside for a second and just look at the moon, perhaps you'll notice this. In this example, only the clouds close to the moon are lit up, not the clouds further away. That indicates that the moon is much, much closer than we've been told. Because if the moon were 238,000 miles away, then all the clouds should be illuminated, not just the ones closest to it. 